Stop selling your work on Etsy, Saatchi Arts or any third party platform. By selling your art through these platforms, you're giving away control and power over your art business. And more importantly, you're giving away the power over your overall profit and sales. So what then you may ask? It's easy, sell your art directly instead. While this may mean making less profit in the first few months while you establish yourself online, in the long run, you'll see the amazing benefits of setting up your own brand and business, one that you can control and are free to decide every single aspect of. Are you not convinced yet? In this video, I'm going to dive deeper into why you should be selling your art online directly instead of through these third-party platforms like Etsy, Saatchi Art, or even art galleries. For more videos on all things selling your art online, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified every time I release a new video. I'm Martha, and I worked in the contemporary art world for over a decade. I worked my way up in my career working in contemporary art galleries in London and became a gallery director. I now help artists based all over the world to turn their art practice into a full-time business. Let's get into why I believe artists are missing out if they're selling their works through third-party platforms or galleries. So let me share five reasons why you should start selling your works directly instead. Number one, you get to keep 100% of the sale price. As you might already know, Etsy, Saatchi Art and even art galleries take a percentage of any sale made through them. Selling your artwork directly, on the other hand, so through your website and through social media streams, means that you get to keep 100% of the profits. When you make a sale through a gallery or a third party platform, it can be so disheartening to know that you're actually only going to see a fraction of that money despite being the creator of that work. Many artists think that by using a third party platform or a gallery is going to be beneficial because you don't have to put in the effort of marketing your art yourself but think about what you're actually giving up by doing that. This is short-term thinking and you could be losing thousands in the long run. Number two, the cash goes directly into your bank account. Having worked for multiple contemporary art galleries, artists can sometimes be waiting months or on some occasions even years to receive a payout from a gallery or an agent. Unfortunately, I've even heard from artists that with some galleries, they've never seen their cut from a show. Now, as a fellow business owner, I know about the importance of cash flow in your business. It makes it so much easier, and let's be honest, way less stressful to not have to wait those long periods of time to see the actual money hit your bank account and having to keep following up and chasing to get paid for your work. When you sell your artwork directly, the most you might have to wait to receive payment is a week when you're using a payment processing platform but typically it's somewhere between one to three days. And if your client is paying you via bank transfer, it might even take less time. In any case, you're in full control. You get to put the payment terms and the due date on your invoice. And if you don't receive payment, you'll only ship the artwork once you've received the payment and it's hit your account. Number three, third party platforms and galleries offer very little security. When it comes to galleries, they are often quite volatile and close all the time. Therefore, having a gallery represent you does not mean having guaranteed sales for the rest of your career. Galleries can close at any time, which means you could stop making sales at a moment's notice. I've witnessed artists spend a year preparing for a solo show and then have the gallery announce that they're closing their doors right before the exhibition install. With respect to art galleries, it's not an easy business model, but I want to share with you the reality of how the art world really operates behind the scenes. And when it comes to Etsy or Saatchi art, they are the ones that have complete control. They can ban your store, increase their commissions, send less traffic to your page at any point, and all you can really do is either agree with their policies or leave the platform. But once you learn how to market and sell your works yourself, you will always have those skills, like literally forever. The amazing thing is that you'll never have to rely on others to sell your works for you. You will have complete and full autonomy over your career and your art business. And even if you do decide to work for galleries in the future and they decide to close their business down, well, you will have nothing to worry about because you know how to be your own gallerist. Number four, you get to build a relationship with your clients. When you sell your artwork to your buyers directly, the people who buy your work are no longer strangers and you get to build a relationship with these clients. Now, on the other hand, when you work with a gallery, collectors are the gallerist clients, not yours. 
Some galleries don't even tell you who's bought your work. And I know this is a huge worry for artists, knowing when your artwork is ending up, when you sell through a third party platform. But when you sell it directly, it removes the barrier between you and the buyer. Plus, a building trust with your own clients increases the chances of them becoming a returning client or even recommending your work to others. If you know where your artworks are ending up and who they're being sold to, they're traceable, which means that if you notice that your works are being sold on the secondary market in decades to come, you will know precisely who is selling it because it's come directly from your inventory. Number five, ultimately you get to call the shots. When you run a business as an independent artist, you have complete control over the price you charge for all of your artworks. You get to decide when and what to sell, when to run promotions, and you have full control without having to answer anyone else or have anyone dictate your career. You basically do not need anyone's permission or approval to sell your work in whichever way you want. You, the artist, have full control of the whole process and call 100% of the shots. And doesn't this sound way more attractive than the alternative of selling through a third party platform or gallery? I say yes. I truly believe that selling your art directly has many more benefits than selling your work through a gallery, agent or third party online platform. There is so much more freedom in the process and you get to know where your artworks are going. If you would like to receive the exact step-by-step -step checklist of the most important things you should be doing to build a presence online and create a successful art business, check out my free online business checklist. Find the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.